wanted to do an updated video of my bag slash purse collection. The last collection video I did was in September and since then I've gotten rid of some bags that I do not use and I have gotten some other bags so I just wanted to show them to you and um, just to start off I am not bragging I'm not trying to brag um, this is one of my favorite videos I like to watch on YouTube everybody's purse slash bag collection so I just thought I would like to you know contribute to you know everyone else's videos and you know hopefully get some ideas give you guys some ideas I get ideas of bags that I might like from the videos I watch so you know here we go uh, the first bag I have here is the famous as seen on TV buxom bag this is actually the third one I've ever had for years this was my favorite bag and I loved it so much I wore out two of them which is why this is the third one you know and this one is black black goes with everything which is why I picked that color you know it has the little cell phone pocket up here which probably won't fit anybody's cell phone anymore because now they're so huge um, you know the zipper pocket on the front and all the pockets and compartments on the inside and even has a zipper to make it wider if you need it I loved this bag um, another little thing I have is uh, this little thing I got at a yard sale for 50 cents I probably will never use it because it's so small but it attracted me because it was sparkly <laughs> uh, even though I'm 25 years old yes I'm still attracted to sparkly things and hopefully I'm gonna get a nice sparkly thing on this ring pretty soon hint hint for a certain person that might be watching but anyway um, this is a cute little bag um, uh, you could probably only fit like maybe lip gloss or a couple little feminine products in there and that's it. You probably can't even fit your phone in here again with the large size phones are these days. But it's really cute to go out in the evening. Um, here's a couple of those little um, tab wallets that were popular a couple years ago. I have two of them. I have this silver one that I used to go out uh, on a college dance with a, well it wasn't a dance a special college evening it matched my dress and then here's just this one that I used every day it's black and it has a cross on the front and, you know on the inside it has you know the places for your cards ID and money and all that so uh, this is a Swarovski little book bag that I got in Europe like ten and a half almost eleven years ago uh, when I was in the Swarovski Crystal Walden Museum in Austria. Um, when I was in high school, I used this every day. I carried this around with me every day, and you could tell because, you know, the handle is worn, the straps are worn, the, the corners are worn out, all the stuff inside is coming out. But they, all of these crystals on here are uh, Swarovski crystals, and even on the, the zipper detail on the back. So, I mean, I loved this bag in high school. Like I said, I used it every day. And I don't use it anymore, but I don't have a heart to get rid of it. So, I still have it. <laughs> this is a tote bag that I got uh, at Barnes & Noble. Uh, it has two quotes on it. On the one side, it says, When I get a little money, I buy uh, books. And if any is left over, I buy food and clothing. And that's a quote from Erasmus. And I like that because for a while, you know, that was true for me. If I had any money, I would buy a book. <laughs> and um, if you've ever seen my bedroom, it looks more like a library than a bedroom. So, And then on the other side, there's a, an Abraham Lincoln quote. And it says, my best friend is a person who will give me a book I have not read. So it's a really cute tote bag. Uh, black canvas. It has, you know, um, a little pocket in front. Oh, there's a pencil in there. How about that? I have to put that on my desk <laughs> but uh, yeah a cute little canvas tote bag that you can use for anything here is a black bag that I got at Target a couple years ago for like $15 um, the outside is black but on the inside it is yellow and I bought this because my favorite sports teams colors are black and gold so I usually carry this bag around when they're playing. It has one of those uh, magnetic snap closures, and it does have a large slip pocket on each side. But this, I, 
I like to use this bag, but I don't because it's so big. It's like a black hole. Stuff gets lost in here. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of wanting to update my team color bag, but this does this does the trick for now. Plus, because it only has this one uh, strap, it tends to slide off my shoulder. So, but it's still a cute bag. Uh, here is a Morona bag that I used my last two years in college. I got this at Target as well for like $35. Um, it has these three magnetic snap closures in the front. I usually kept my Kindle in this pocket, uh, my keys and phone in this pocket, and my calculator in here. And then, you know, it has those nylon straps. And on the inside, it has that... Um, wide magnetic snap closure that opens and the inside lining is tan it has three compartments one here a zipper compartment in the middle and then this back compartment where you can put things in like your pens and pencils and a little phone thing here and it also came with this laptop sleeve but i never used it because well my laptop was too big for it <laughs> so i never used that uh, just the bag. This is the bag I'm using currently. This is a Gianni Bernini bag that I got on clearance at Macy's. Um, I'm not really a Gianni Bernini person, but again, this was on clearance A. B, it's blue, and blue is my favorite color. And C, it's made of this quilted nylon. So because it's winter, and winters around here are very sloppy and messy, the cars also get sloppy and messy, so if my purse, if this happens to uh, rub up against a sloppy and messy car, I can easily wipe it clean. So, plus it has, you know, the feet on the bottom to help protect it from getting dirty. And it actually has a lot of really nice storage compartment pockets. There's two up here, you know, another one behind it, right here. And then on the inside, it has three sections, two snap close closure sections. And then the zipper section in the middle that is very useful. It has a lot of pockets in there as well. Uh, and then this right here, I don't know exactly what it's for, but I usually slip my camera in there and put it back in the pocket. <laughs> so that's what I use that for. Lots of pockets, even pen holders. So I'm really liking this Gianni Bernini bag as my winter bag. It has come in really handy so far this winter put this back over here um some other higher end kind of sort of bags that um i recently got um this is my brighton bag i'm not a brighton person either i'm really not a fan of their style but this one in particular intrigued me so um this is kind of like a goldish tannish bag and it has like the the snakeskin design on it Normally I don't like bags that have like the animal skins on it either, but on this one it's subtle. It's not like the whole bag is, you know, snake skin. Um, so, and also, even though it's faux snake skin, this is probably one of the best faux snake skin bags I've seen. I mean, it looks, it looks real, like more than I've seen on other faux snake skins. So that's another reason why I liked it. And not only can you carry it with these handles, but it also has a detachable strap, shoulder strap. Okay. And then also with the bag, I got the matching wristlet. Got a matching wristlet. There. Okay. And I also got, you know, the matching wallet. And yes, the whole wallet is the, like the snakeskin material. Um, it's not real snakeskin, it's embossed, but again, you know, it looks, to me, it looks incredibly real, so. And then the wallet also has a strap where you can just carry the wallet like it is. So, that's that. And the bag itself has, you know, the magnetic snap closure. It's not really a snap either, it's just two magnets that come together like that. And it has three compartments, you know, one on one side, one on the other, and the zipper compartment in the middle. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, and then I have two coach bags, one you've seen in my Christmas haul that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. There we go. 
And this is from the Poppy Collection. And uh, the color is called, oh, what's it called? Lucky Penny. So it's like a brown, kind of like suede, I guess, with like little flecks of copper colored sparkles in it. And it's really, really pretty. I love this bag. You know, it's just the right size um, for me anyway. Not, and if you don't want to carry it with these handles like this, it's these. this does come off the bottom for a longer strap if you want to carry it that way. But, uh, yeah, I really like this bag. So, and as you can tell with my higher-end bags, I do keep them in the dust bags, and I do stuff them so they keep their shape. So I keep the stuffing in them. And then my second coach bag, here, let me grab it. I was eyeing this up for a while, ever since I saw it online. Okay, so this is the newer... I don't even, it's called a Chelsea. Um, yeah, I don't know a lot about bags, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is called the Chelsea, and it's like a wool, and it's blue, and blue is my favorite color, again, um, so it's, this is a cute winter bag, um, not only does it have these straps, but it does have a longer, uh, removable strap if you want to carry it, like, crossbody, if you wish. And also, I got a matching wallet. Now, this wallet that I got to match the bag isn't one that's currently available, at least not on the Coach website. I'm not sure exactly when this wallet was available, but I think I did a pretty good job matching with the bag. What do you think? <laughs> um, so, it is a Coach wallet. You know, it has that compartment in, in the back, and it has... Uh, the twist. This reminds me a lot of my Vera Bradley turn lock wallet, which is another reason why I got it. <laughs> um, so this has a place in it, you know, for all your cards and ID, and you know, place for your checkbook, which I also like. So um, it is a Coach wallet that matches my blue Coach bag. So, and this was originally a like a five hundred dollar bag, but there's no way I was going to pay five hundred dollars for it. <laughs> so I waited till it got came out on eBay and I got a super great deal on it on eBay so hooray for eBay and brand new bags and great deals so yeah um, so that's that's it with my bag collection I mean it's nothing really exciting uh, nothing too high end I'm actually really particular um, about my bags so and I'm trying to expand my collection. It, this does not include my Vera Bradley, by the way. That's a whole other video. But um, if you have any suggestions for me of bags you think I might like, you know, leave a comment below. Um, uh, like I said, I'm really particular. I don't get bags because everybody else has bags. I get bags because I like them. Like, as you've seen with my two coach bags, none of them are the signature. They don't have the signature C's on it because... Me, personally, I think that's obnoxious um, to have a symbol or the company symbol or monogram or whatever all over a bag. Um, that's just my opinion. Please, no hater comments. Everybody has different opinions and views and tastes. Uh, but I don't want to carry a bag to say, hey, look, I have a coach bag. Or, hey, look, I have a... Oh, what's that other big name one? Uh... Louis Vuitton bag or something like that. I buy bags because I like them, not because everybody else has them. But um, if you think of a bag that you think I, I might like or be interested in, feel free to make a comment below. Um, I hope you liked my collection video. And um, thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs> Bye!